Hello, this is Liam, and I'm making a new video in the Never. I have just been in the Never testing it to see how it goes, and it has gone well. But me and Leanne nearly died, <laughs> and nearly Leanne died straight away as soon as we just joined, went into the Never, because I built like a say a uh, railway, but I forgot the mine carts, <coughs> and Leanne fell off, and I only had one heart left. <laughs> Oops. But luckily now we're filming with only me on the um, game and I'm just waiting for it to load at the moment. And um, it's done now and as you can see um, I've got lots of different worlds and I've got 35 and for some reason it won't really work. So I need to get rid of this. And can I go back play? And do I have to use oh, okay? <laughs> so I usually use tip and I'm going on this one and I changed it to survival mode. Like I doing on my first micro video. Do not choose the wrong trapdoor. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to go and watch it. Leave a like, comment down below, tell me what you want to see. And at the end of this video, tell me what you want to see as well in this. <coughs> so we're just waiting it to load at the moment. So just wait. Diorite, you either love it or hate it. Do you love it or hate it, Liam? I don't even know what it is, so... Neither do I. Bedrock, love it or hate it? I love bedrock, Why? but sometimes I hate it. Why? I love it because it can't be blown up and it's a good material to build houses. And I hate it because if you like found someone in your world and they have bedrock for some reason and they're in survival or creative, whatever, they could trap you in a if you have a house. They could completely cover it in bedrock and I'm here now and um, there's a ghast oh, I just missed and now I've hit it so what I've been doing is building this bedrock house to um, stay safe and I'll know need to change it to creative mode Don't worry, I'm not being naughty, but just helping myself. And I'll just get rid of all that bedrock. Just getting rid of all the useless stuff. I did bring some water buckets, just in case I get her. So I'll get rid of them ones. Right. I'm just getting um, fire resistance. I need two. And what else? I'll get time of undying just in case. I'll get that out. And more bedrock. Because I did bring a furnace. Right, now I'm going to change it back to survival. Wait, no I'm not because I know what else I want to get. If... No, it's not on seeds. Crops. I'm going to get some enchanted golden up ones. And I'm just going to very quickly build this house. And then I'll change it back to survival.
I am building my house out of bedrock because it can't be exploded and it can't be blown up by ghosts. So yeah, and I'm not getting a bed because in the never, if you have a bed and you um, try to sleep in it, you will have an explosive surprise. Hmm. What's the surprise? What's the an surprise? explosion. Oh. And me and Leanne have been doing pretty good um, before I have started this video. And nearly done now. I think I should do it one more layer. Mm -hmm. And then I'll start getting back to the real thing. And I don't think I'll die. Because of my totem of undying and enchanted golden apples. And um, at the end of this video, comment down below, leave a like, and tell me what you want to see. But I can't travel to the end, don't know how to make the portals, but I will try. Alright, let's just go in. There we go. Don't want to. Oh well. Yeah, I will change the floor to bedrock just for safety. And Leanne, do you think I should make a part two of this video? I think Maybe. we should. I think this is this is a good part one, showing how to make yourself a safe bedrock house, and we'll do a part two, which will be exploring the Nether. Exploring the Nether in survival mode. Yes. And why are you in creative mode now? Just because it's safer. Yeah, because I don't want to um, get hurt whilst I'm building and um, lose blocks. Okay. And I'll just do this. Right, there we are. So now we're all done with that, we can get back into survival mode. Okay, so is that the end of part one? Not yet, because I do want to um, show how to kill a ghast in case you see a ghast. Because there's different ways. Where's the um, ghast? Ghast, here we are. I'll just swap it for the end bells. So I've got my bow and sword. And my sword is fire aspect, but it doesn't do fire aspect some reason and I've got a bow that's power free and uh, here we are you can try and kill it with your sword and there you are or you can use a bow if you can hit him there we are and I didn't know Enderman could spawn him in ever so that's interesting and I am the pro and I have got my diamond armour, blast protection and just protection and if you want to see anything else in this video it just glitched well it can end now or I could just do a little bit more And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spawn a gas in the lava. Oh my gosh! Ow! 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 
Kau udah napu, kau udah napu And yeah, that was dumb. But at least I'm still alive. Just get back to my house now. And set it all up. And I just want to get back in my house now. Real quick, and luckily it's made out of bedrock. And I did bring some lovely things to put there, and I did bring a chest or two to make a large chest. So, what I'm gonna do is fit it all up with the things I don't need just to keep my inventory safe and I have got a beacon to um keep me safe and in case I get lost and I can't find my home so I'm just gonna put these down and make um, this beacon and Leanne is there any questions you would want to know? yeah um what are you building here you're building some stairs what's that for to go so I'm building stairs to help me get to the top of my house and, that, and now I'm going to build a beacon. Oh. And if you don't know what beacons are, so, so you need a powerful block like emerald, diamond and it, what it basically does I don't think it would work in the never, but what it basically does is that um, it um, brings through light. So I'm just gonna make a light source. And protect my beacon. A glowstone just because I need some light. Who are you protecting it from? Well, I'm not really protecting it from anyone and protecting it from all the um googlies oh and there is a lot of light and i don't know why i just keep eating golden apples <laughs> and it doesn't really matter because i've got i got a bit of 64 and now i'm all right what is that that's an enderman. Right. Whoa. Oh, he's after me. Ow. Ow. Oh, I killed him. Oh, well done. With fire aspect. And I got an ender pool, I think. Yeah. So this is the end of this video. If you want to see uh, part two or 
any other video and I'll try and get to the end, please comment down below and tell me what you want to see. And I'll see you all later. Bye.